Hey everybody, this is Decost here. This is going to be a 30k list building video. I'm um, basically just going to go over how I built my Imperial Militia slash Ultramarines Army. Um, so we're going to start with the Imperial Militia. They're the most customizable, it seems, from what I've from what I've looked at in all the heresy books there for the, the army lists. Um, so in 30k, they have these things called Provenances. Um, it's a provenance of war. It's basically just a buff that's written down. Um, so for Imperial Militia, I took the Survivors of the Dark Age provenance, and then we're going to be using, also just to note, the Battles in the Age of Darkness Force Organization chart. So your primary detachment is your HQ, of which you have three choices, three options, but one mandatory and you have to take two troop units. Then you also have uh, four elite slots, three fast attack slots, three more heavy heavy support slots. Um, we'll get to those, but for my primary detachment here, I've got the HQ as my force commander. I picked the, I paid the 20 points, 20 points for the planetary overlord and that gives me the right to pick my warlord trait at the beginning of the game. So with my survivors of the dark age provenance, that gives me the plus also gives me a plus 1 leadership, basic armor save. Um and it also gives me a plus 1 with the ruthless tyrant warlord trait gives me another plus 1 leadership. So my imperial militia is now from uh, the standard grenadier 7, he's now leadership 9 with the pluses. So you need those two buffs to in this list I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, so I have the the Force Commander, two maxed out units of Imperial Grenadiers, with two special weapons in each, and I also have a f Medic Detachment, which gives me three Orderlies. I stick each Orderly with an Infantry Unit, and that gives them a, another five up Invulnerable save after their armor and whatever else cover. Um, sorry, at whatever at whatever save they take, be it armor or cover, they also get the five up and vulnerable save because the medics right there with the stim packs and shit. Um, so that's Imperial Guard, and then I also have a unit of seven. I have a fire support team of seven teams. Um, and each so I have six last cannons, and I have one mortar. It's base. It's you kind of have. I'm, I'm purposely taking that setup. Uh, most people would say just take the auto cannons. You get more shots. Uh, last cannons are the better of the of all of them because you have you can actually have an anti tank threat there. Um, and it's, if if nothing else, it's area denial for half the table. If you sit six of those things pointing at one area of the table. Nobody's gonna walk over there with with uh, with any amount of balls. Um, and you also so so you're gonna need fire support, you're going to need grenadiers, you're going to need a force commander. That's my main army, so it's that's that's my primary detachment, and then I just add on an allied detachment of ultramarines just to make them scarier and or stay on the table longer. Um, so you're going to take rhinos with all your attack units, and you're going to take the mandatory 20-man infantry, 20-man attack, 20 attack squad um, with a sergeant. I take a master of I take a master of signal that gives me the plus one uh, ballistic skill for whatever in infantry unit he's attached to, and I also get the once per game bombardment, D three bombardment orbital barrage. That's the pie plate template D three of those, on anywhere I choose. Um, the ten man terminator unit also a necessity. You take a praetor, so you take the right of war. The orbital barrage, the orbital assault right of war, given all your terminators when applicable, the right to drop to uh, basically deep strike where there is no deep strike there. Um, all the terminator armor has it. It has an inboard like uh, transporter thing, so that rule lets them able to gives them the ability to deep strike in, on the battlefield without a uh, drop pod. So that's awesome. Um, uh, like I said, take on rhinos with everything. Put havoc launchers on all those rhinos. That's three havoc attacks, each shooting phase, and it definitely hurts. It, it's very annoying for the other player to have to deal with that, on top of everything else. 
Um, I also have a Medusa cannon that shoots the pie plate 5 inch template. Uh, I'm not going to take the Phosphex shells anymore. I took that last game, it didn't really help me out much. The regular strength 10 is fine with me. I don't need the crawling death or whatever, it's whatever nonsense. Um, I am going to update to the Medusa tank chassis so I can move that thing around. It's only 36 range, 36 inch range, so a little more mobility makes that a little extra dangerous for you. Um, I might get the quad mortars. I'm not sure yet. They look they look they're a little too expensive. Literally, um, this game's an expensive game. Make sure you get all your stuff on eBay, like I did. It's awesome. Um, I've got some assault marines on the way. Uh, they'll be they'll be fun to mess with the rules here. I'm gonna do another I'm gonna do another video with my up, updated ultramarines list so it'll be all ultramarines um, I will eventually have some Fomentaris terminators it's terminators with it's cataphracty terminators with uh, missile launchers cyclone missile launchers on their backs it's pretty nasty um, yeah more videos to come the contest is still going on we're at 172 subscribers now so keep it up uh, there's still time to get in and get your chance to win a free copy of one of our games from Panzernacker games um, that's it for now. See you later.